So uh, now we are having the data set. So what we are going to do, we are going to analyze the numeric columns, but using a distribution plot. It will tell you what is the minimum value, what is the maximum value, what is the overall distribution of the whole column, for example, age. So let's discuss about it and I'll see you on the other side. So, so far we have discussed about how to work on heart disease data, how we can load the data in Kaggle notebook. I'm talking about Kaggle notebook this time. This is the data set that we are having, heart failure prediction. And I have loaded the data set, how I'll get to know about this path. This is the path. Okay. Otherwise, if you don't know where this code is, you can just write slash Kaggle slash notebook, then just write the name of this folder and inside that we are having this file. Okay. Once we are having this, I am displaying df.head, this is something we are having. You can also write df. This will tell you the total number of columns that we are having, 918 such columns are there, which is already we have discussed in the documentation. In the documentation only we are having these files. Okay. So now what should be the next question? The next question is like we know how to uh, check uh, a particular thing, how to analyze the data set in a nutshell. Okay. But the problem is uh, how we can analyze the data set and doing the exploratory data analysis. Exploratory data analysis means we are going to check the data set, see how uh, means the columns are correlated, if there is some correlation or not, we are going to uh, like if I am talking about age and sex, okay, in this data set, if I want to check uh, what is the distribution of age, okay, let me tell you how to check that. That purpose, I am going to use a library, I am going to use a special library this time which is Seaborn, okay, Seaborn as SNS, which is just a sh short name that I am taking for Seaborn. You can take any name of your choice if it is not imported or installed so the instructions are pretty much simple let me move it from here and paste it here so that it won't make any problem so what do you can write you can write pip install cborn this is a data visualization library where we can plot the graphs, different kind of plots. Okay. And because here you can see it is already installed, so we cannot do anything. Just delete the cell. Okay. Because it, it is already installed. Now, what I'm going to do once we have imported the CSNS, which is Seaborn library, I can plot a graph which is called as distribution plot or dist plot. Okay, so let's make our own disk plot, which is distribution plot. Here you can see it is installed. So let me remove it. DF of that head is something we have done here. Yes, so let's do here only because I don't want to make mess with the code. So this is the data set that we are having, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to write SNS, which is my Seaborn library. Inside that, I'm having something called as this plot okay this plot inside that i am having multiple columns on which column i want to make the distribution plot i want to make it for the age column okay so i am going to write df of age this will give you the age of all the uh, patients that we are having so let's pass it here df of age executed this is the distribution plot that we are having minimum age of minimum age of a person that we are having is around 30 maximum age that we are having of a person is almost 80 years okay and most of them are from this particular age okay that that we uh, what i mean to say is the data set is of mostly means I would say 90% of the data is from 8 uh, 40 to 70 rest 10% data we are having so this will help you to do a basic analysis how the data set is distributed we are not having the people from age 10 20 25 
we are not having the eight people uh, from age more than uh, 75 or 80. That's the basic distribution that I have seen. And this comes under data analysis as well. Okay. We can also plot some different kind of plots like we are having KDE is equals to true. Inside that we can also write KDE plot. What KDE will do? KDE will plot a straight line. Okay. Which actually fits the whole data set. So that's totally up to you. If you want to add KDE into this, you can use KDE as well. Okay. Again, we are also having something called as a histogram. Okay, so let's see. Uh, so let's add age here. Uh, so KDE, let's make it KD is equal to false. Because now the line is not there. Okay, and uh, let's make histogram is equal to true. And let's see the output. Okay, so actually it, it uh, histogram works uh, in dist plot, not this plot. So because here we are having just one option to use the KDE. Okay, if I am executing this one. Okay, so we are having KDE, but here I need to write dist plot because we are having two different functionality. This plot is just for the distribution. In dist plot, we are having different kind of functionalities that you can use. You can use histogram, you can use rug plot, you can use bins as well. Okay. So for that purpose, you need to remember what are all the functions that we can call. KD is equals to false. And here I am writing histogram equals to true. Execute it. And here you can see it is a histogram now. The lines are gone. Okay. And apart from that, we can also use RUG, which is rug plot. If I'm writing rug plot is equal to this and this is equal to false. So this will make the plot in rug format. This will create a density function. Okay. In which particular area the density is there. Like here we can see from 25 to 78. Okay. So that depends upon totally the use case. If I am if I want to display more than one graph at a time. RUE. So this is the graph that we are having. Okay. So this is a distribution graph where this is how it looks in terms of KDE. This is the histogram. And here, let's suppose if I want to make some bins out of it. For example, the minimum age that we are having is uh, like if I am plotting this graph and removing all the other things and writing bins is equals to 10. So it will divide the whole data set into 10 bins 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 and it will make the plot in this manner. If I am writing bins is equals to 5 it, it will make only 5 bins out of it. Okay, so that that is totally up to you how you want to change it, how you want to manipulate it in such a way that you will get the results. Okay, so if I want to make 30 bins, the more bins you are having, the better density that you can have. Okay, and the graph looks something like this because this is our, and if you are removing the bins, it will take the by default how many unique values you are having. This is how the graph will look. Okay. So this is something we have discussed about distribution plot, how distribution plot work and how we can use it for age. Same thing, we can use distribution plot for sex as well, like how many males are there, how many females are there. But for that purpose, rather than using uh, this graph, because here we are just having two bars, okay, one for male, one for female. So rather than using bar graph for that, we can use something, uh, called as a pie chart. How to work on pie chart? So that is something we are going to discuss in the next lecture. So I'm hoping you are having a basic understanding now how the overall distribution plot works. What's the purpose of it? 
and how to use it basically if you are still having it out please let me know otherwise i'll see in the next video where we are going to plot uh, different kind of plots bye